Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Pragya. I secured a rank of 862 in this year's NEET PG and I've done my MBBS from JLNMCH Bhagalpur, Bihar. So today I want to talk to you about a very important topic for aspirants of almost any competitive exam. That is how to study for long hours, for 14, 16 hours when your exams are not near. Because when exams are near, almost everyone can study for these hours. But what to do when there's no pressure, no anxiety? Because this is the difference between toppers and someone who just got an average rank. So how are you going to make this difference in your preparation? So today I'll tell you some very realistic, simplified ideas uh, and I'll, like always, divide them into short points without uh, talking a lot extra in these things. So yes, let's get started. The first thing that I want you to do is plan your target for next day in the previous night. This creates a lot of difference in your mindset because if you sleep with an idea, with a positive attitude about tomorrow, then you will wake up and you'll have your mindset clear. You'll feel a, a bit more energetic or you'll feel uh, very planned and you'll know exactly what to do in the coming day as you wake up. So it's important to have your goals set a night before. Okay, uh, in that way, if you wake up, you'll just be ready to follow those things and you'll also feel positive. If you have not done this, trust me, do it. Make a plan for your next day or uh, the night before and also set an alarm for whenever you want to wake up. Now, how are you going to make this plan? It's very important. Suppose you have to do a topic. I want you to divide that into small subtopics, into small slots. Suppose if you want to do CNS, then I want you to divide it into CNS embryology, anatomy, physiology, uh, pathology, pharma, everything. So what is the uh, basic behind dividing your topic into these small slots? If these slots are written, so you'll complete this one slot, you'll take it off and that is going to give you immense pleasure. You'll feel like you did something and that feeling is going to power you to move on to your next topic. Okay, so how will you make this list? You'll divide your big list, you'll divide your main goal into small slots which you can pick off and feel happy about yourself. Okay, so that is the first thing. Now, the second thing that I want you to do is some sort of a Pomodoro technique. But here what I'll do is I'll do it a bit differently. So you've heard that uh, people use 30 minute slot and take 5 minutes break or something similar. I want you to not uh, you know, make this time slots. I want you to make each of this small slot as one pomodoro. Suppose if you complete your uh, neuroembryology or neuroanatomy, after that you can take a small break. This is just an example. Uh, I used to uh, use first aid, so in that you know small topics are given. So if I complete embryology and anatomy in one slot, I'll take a small break. So what will you do if you have made a small slot, uh, which is uh, a very small topic, then you can take a five minute break. And if you completed something really big or uh, something that was difficult to learn, then you can take a 10 minute break. Okay. And the important thing here that I want you to stress, this is the only important thing that will uh, make this plan work. And that is be very strict with your breaks. Five minutes means five minutes. If it ends up being 15 minutes, then it will end up also being 15 minutes or probably even two hours. So, five minutes for five minutes. And if you complete like uh, three or four big topics, or if you see that it's been two hours since you studied properly, then you can take a half hour break or something like that. You can go have lunch and uh, yes, time those breaks also. You don't want to, because it's it's a very dangerous part actually getting stuck in these breaks, especially in the initial period of your uh, preparation, because you don't have any kind of pressure or anxiety right now. Okay. So you will need to be disciplined. So that is the first thing. Now the second thing. Second thing is to recognize your productive and non-productive times of the day. So you know, you know that there's that time of the day when you just don't feel like studying, you don't feel like doing anything and you can't help but waste time at that slot of the day. So for me, it was around 11 uh, a.m. starting at that time and I used to get really drowsy and really restless and uh, the second slot was post lunch. So what will you do? In these slots, you decide to do your MCQs or solve your custom modules or review your GTs. The learning part or reading part you should do in your productive slots, okay? And use these slots to solve questions, to review GTs, uh, or to do any other, you know, small job to read something that's very easy for you, okay? So that way you can divide your day. So the second good advice is to recognize that when are you productive and when are you not, okay? Now coming to the third thing. The third thing is to divide your day between reading, solving question banks, reviewing some uh, solved MCQs. In this way, you'll not get bored. Don't uh, use the whole day for only reading or for only sol solving MCQs or for only reviewing. You need to do a bit of these at each uh, point of the day so that you don't get bored and uh, you have 
यू नो समिंग टू लुक फॉरवर्ड टू कि हाँ इतना पढ़ लेता है उसके बाद सॉल्व करना है सो दैट फ्रेंड ऑफ इट सो दैट वुड बी माई थर्ड एडवाइस नाउ द फोर्थ एंड वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एडवाइस टू स्टे कंसिस्टेंट इज टू अवॉइड बर्न आउट ओके टेक फ्रीक्वेंट ब्रेक्स ब्रेक्स एज इन सपोज इफ यू हैव लाइक सिक्स मंथ्स लेफ्ट फॉर योर नेक्स्ट एग्जाम सो यू कैन टेक द सेकेंड हाफ ऑफ एवरी संडे ऑफ हर संडे ट्वेल्व पी एम तक अच्छे से पढ़ लेना है एंड आफ्टर दैट यू कैन टेक दैट डे ऑफ एंड यू कैन डू वट एवर द हेल यू वॉन्ट टू डू यू कैन नाउ वॉच सीरीज यू कैन डू मीट योर फ्रेंड्स यू कैन यू नो वट एवर यू वॉन्ट फर्स यू सम काइंड ऑफ हॉबी सो डोंट लेट यूर सेल्फ बर्न आउट इफ यूर स्टडिंग नॉन स्टॉप फॉर डेज एंड डेज यू विल एंड ऑफ गेटिंग बर्न आउट सो प्लीज टेक ब्रेक्स टूवर्ड्स द एंड येस यू विल नीड टू टेक स्मॉल ब्रेक्स बट कीप इन माइंड दैट यू डू give yourself a break at least 20 days or 3 weeks before your exam so that the last 3 weeks you don't uh, feel that need to take a break okay it's important to keep refilling yourself recharging yourself okay so that would be my fourth advice my fifth advice would be to find a study partner uh, because group study is really effective in helping you learn uh, helping you not get bored you can talk to the other person you know you can uh, plan your stuff together but yes uh, that person should be someone you trust someone who trusts you and someone with whom there's no kind of uh, you know toxicity uh, you don't want that person uh, uh, not being happy at your victories or you don't want yourself to feel bad if that person is scoring more than you it should be a well very healthy relationship okay so if you have that kind of person in your life go ahead there's nothing better than group study for a competitive exam okay now uh, last but not the least always keep remembering your goals keep reminding yourself why are you doing this you can put a wallpaper of your favorite uh, colleges or your favorite uh, branch on your phone you can stick some pictures you can even watch some youtube videos i used to watch some youtube videos of uh, residents of my favorite college my favorite branch how they spend their day and all so yes it does help you uh, if you are in the mood do watch those videos uh, keep a wallpaper keep some pictures remind yourself why you're doing this and that will help you on your bad days okay so yes follow these things but yes don't get burned up burnt out focus on your mental health see when you need that break and be kind to yourself and work hard all the best for your exams thank you